Welcome back, Orleans, to more nights too. The trial of winter, figure of Stone Hearth, was the lone dwarven hero of the nights and the seasons. In the company's most difficult battles, he was last to leave the field. In the final struggle against the great evil, Vigor was the last to fall, enduring an onslaught of blows before finally succumbing. In the sacrifice, he brought time for all the citizens of Illithon. Winter's challenge is enduring the cold. Turning the page will begin the trial. Okay, so we're going to be fighting cold shit. Let's, let's see if we can prepare here. Cone of cold, that's not going to do us any good. Uh, we got fireballs ready, that might help. Uh, let's go Something to our potion, bitch. Not sure if we have anything against... This looks like it could be used to retrace glowing runes on the surface of a construct. Oh, well that's going to... probably used for our construct that we're going to build later. Venom. Bless restoration. Bark skin. Eh. Whoops! <laughs> Why the fuck did I click that? Uh, yeah, keep that out. And we'll throw all the rest back in here. I'm honestly surprised that's the first time that happened. Gotta really try not to do that with uh, Ron Stott or the reagent bag. We'll be fun. Spells much better than I do. Anyways, we'll go ahead and get prepared. too much against cold. But we do have some fire weapons, so... Holy shit! Oh fuck, don't leave me with the wolf. I 
chase me all you want. You're just gonna get your asses kicked. Always take gold. We have a keep to restore. All right. The ice methods and winter wolves have been defeated. Let's head on. Book of Spring, orphaned at birth, the hero known as Blue Cloak took his name from the mantle he inherited from his musical master. Skilled in song and spellcraft and irrepressible optimist, he was the group's voice of hope and inspiration. As the armies of Ilfarn were routed in the night's battle against the great evil, it was Blue Cloak's music that gave them the courage to stand their ground once more. Spring's challenge is evading the hunters. Turning the page, we begin the trial. Holy balls, Earth Elementals, Hunter Statues? And I'll stop running in the opposite fucking direction. I mean, fuck, if I can keep them busy, might as well. That's right, they trying to get your attention. these statues are just standing there. Shit, that was easier than the first one. Somehow, uh, a priestess got, she got bum fucked. Circle of Death is going to be the best spell right now. The spell strips an enemy mage of up to four magical defenses, including... Okay, well that's up for fighting mages. Oops, fucking shit. Stone Body, that's the one that makes it a uh, crazy defense. I don't want to do that because I don't have 50% spell failure. You become an engine of destruction, gaining plus one attack for every two caster levels, plus four natural armor bonus. KC 5 to 4 to 2 basically makes me a fighter.
fucking in mages too. A maximized most acid arrow. Shield could be good right now. You're surrounded by a ring of fire that damages all opponents who make a successful melee attack against you. Damage reflect is 1d6. Oh, immunity to cold and fire. Okay. Sadness. Each affected creature takes minus two penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, ability checks, skill rolls, and weapons. That sounds sexy. Let's try that out. Fear is good too, though. Jaive. Jaive. I don't know how the fuck you say that. Z H J? Ja? Pretty state straightforward so far. Get my shield up here. First to fall, so it was Ilthia and Rosewater, the youngest of the heroes. His thin blade was the first weapon to draw blood in battle with the Great Evil. His wounds so enraged the enemy generals that focused all their strength upon him. It is said that even as he lay dying on the battlefield, he would stab at the feet of enemies running by. Some of his challenges staying out of the heat, turning on the page. Yeah, let's do it. Oh shit, Iron Golem. was experienced leader of the four knights after Elithin and Luko perished against the great evil. Belleron directed Vigar to defend the citizens of Avon as they crossed the Elwyn River. Belleron led the remainder of a small army into the heart of the enemy legion. She slew the great commander of their black host before she fell. Autumn's challenge is finding shelter in the storm. Over 
hasted right now. Holy balls. You should leave potions on your mage. Whoa, never mind. Clara cooked it up. Kelgar and that hammer on haste and stone skin. I'm sorry, you're fucking, you're not gonna win. I'm gonna fuck you up all kinds of shit. fighting four of these undead bastards. Where's my vampire? In ancient times, the Guardian was created to protect Ilfarn. If the time has come to dismantle our great instrument, you will be an agent of its destruction. Take this blessing of cleansing. May it burn away the darkness in your travels. The fourth part of the ritual is complete. Feel the power of Ilfarn fill you, and see what it is you stand against. Boom shakalaka! He knows. He knows what we are doing. But you have learned how to place the power of this ritual between you and him, like a barrier. And if he attempts to break it, he will only wound himself. You have received the Cleansing Nova special ability, which burns enemy undead and outsiders with fire damage. This ritual links with the Web of Purity ritual ability. Cleansing Nova damage damages a foe caught in the area of a Web of Purity. All other targets within the same web suffer the effects of the Cleansing Nova. This ability can be accessed through the drop-down menu. Paralyzation, that's nice.
Raider Undead is for my vampire, which I've already done. Fortunately, that just replaced it with a shitty zombie. That's okay, though. I'm gonna get into Lee Vampire next. Just testing some of this shit out. Alright, let's Happy raid now. these motherfuckers! Roll to five, plus twenty-three, you know. Oh, we're not pissing off anybody. Let's see what happens when I actually pick this shit up. Mishka has more than earned, earned her keep. I am overburdened. That's okay. All right, Perhaps I guess we're not getting attacked. That's nice. Bear some of my load. Although I'd love to take the experience. So what do we have here? Ceremonial Uthgard belt. I remember someone who used to wear that. An attempt to keep. The thriving Uthgard clans under control, a long-forgotten gathering of druids inflicted them with virulent pox. This disease soon spread out of control and far from curbing their numbers, actually threatened their extinction. To maintain the balance, the same druids created a number of these ceremonial belts to ensure the survival of the clan leaders. Ultimately, the Uthgard survived the plague, though the incident did not improve their opinion of outsiders. Immune to death, magic, and disease, and hella bonus on fortitude. Useless for Ronstock, who already is immune to probably all that shit, because he's a badass pale master. This book lets us make rings of wizardry. One, two, three, four. And man of intellect. That's nice. Another hide, weak fire. We'll see what I can make with all the shit that I've gathered. And at the end of the game, I'll probably just make the best shit. <laughs> Whatever I can possibly make. Anyways. It's going in our... Uh, New bag of holding. Cloak of etherealness. Or as I like to call it, ethrealness. These silvery, silvery great cloaks seem to absorb light rather than be illuminated by it. On command, these cloaks make their wear wraith-like in appearance. The gnome wizard Dimbo Deagle confounded the founders clerics in Featherdale for years before his secret was finally revealed by a traveler skilled in the art. Dimbo owned one of these cloaks and used it to scare the local farmers. The Featherdrons had mistaken the often insubstantial gnome as an actual ghost, and roused the local exorcist, who continually failed to turn the false specter. A little jaunt once per day. Yeah. Belt of guiding light, lost and alone in the gloomy wilderness of the Underdark, Pult Henriksen prayed for guidance from his venerated deity, Savras. His pleas did not go unheard, and Pult felt a weight around his waist, and he soon discovered it was a belt. When he touched it, the belt began to glow, and suddenly Pult felt a confidence he had never known before. When he emerged from the Underdark, Pult went on to lead a revival amongst the worshippers of Savras. Immune to death magic, low light, that, uh, fuck that. Actually, I'm not immune to death magic, obviously, because someone fingered a death me. Uh, one of those Belnorns fingered a death my ass in a video not too long ago. The Sentinel Plus Two, this weapon bears the mark of the Dwarf Beru and Master Blacksmith. Yep, we've read that a million times. That's gonna get sold. Named for Laurel Silverhand Arusun, who created the first shield of this type, this large steel shield also imbues the wearer with resistance against spells. Those 
are yes. always good. Not as good AC, but if we're fighting mages, that's probably what we're going to be using. Of course, that spell resistant shield is nice as well. Yeah, I'm not taking a uh, three AC hit. That's too big of a deal. That's a nice shield he's got. Spell resistance and plus two. What? Mummy Lord, it's not too shabby. All right, now what? Oh, we got another statue. Okay. Didn't realize. Some shit's about to go down. The final statue of purification lies past the portal. It must be this uh, song portal here. So far, you found a vial of water from Glowstone Cavern, which will serve as a suitable substitute for the original ink. An old tome entitled The Ancient Art of Golden Craft. Before Grobnar can begin to work on the construct, you will still need to find a sample of the original runes. Pretty sure yes. I found those too, no? I gotta put them on wrong side. I guess we need more runes still, so we still can't do the construct. Cortison Blade. Keen. Stuns. Plus two enhancement. The Wand of Arcane Disjunction, which does dispel magic. Shit fucking never works right. Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. How can I help? Yes. Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. Follow me. What? Yeah, 
we can sell this blade. Sort of some blade is better. King plus two, and it can stun. Pretty good for Ronstock. Help him get away if needs be. Portal. The Elephant had many such portals called song portals that linked their vast empire together. They were unlocked by the singing of the Elephant people rather than the key of metal or stone. Let's do the damn thing. What is this place? It looks like a ruined village, but... West Harbor. What's left of it, anyways? Smells like demons. Even a devil or two. This place has been hit by legions from the lower plains. Know that these are not the Ilfarn ruins we seek. Is this your birth village? I wonder what happened. This was your home? I didn't realize you were from a mare village. Must have been a tough childhood. Know that this was not our intended destination. Something is wrong. We are close to where we were meant to be. Are there any ancient Ilfarn structures near your birth village? If so, that is where we must go. The area I know of was once infested with lizard leaves, but I believe it's an Ilfarn structure. Then that is our true destination. Yet only something of great power could have turned away our arrival from the ruins, even if they are close by. Something more powerful than teleporting around? Great. We should be on our guard. It is possible that whatever caused this disruption is still present. Such disruption may be due to our enemies seeking us. Or, do you hear something? It is like the sound uh, of a child wailing. We should explore this place. Look for survivors to kill. Yes, I agree. Though I do not believe anyone lives, we may still wish to search. A witness to the events here would be of value. Let us see where our path takes us. But no matter what, we must make our way to the ruins you spoke of. That's a lot of dead people. Not exactly a happy homecoming festival, huh? Sorry. I saw the look on your face when I arrived. I wish I'd been here to defend it. I'd kill every bastard in sight. I didn't realize you'd come from a village like this. I thought life on a farm was tough, but the stories I'd heard about villages bordering the mare. I guess I never really thought about where you came from. Not really. I thought heroes, well, started in great sweeping castles. Not like this. Well, it's the truth. I thought leaving here would have kept it safe, but I was wrong. You left to save your village? I'm impressed. Well, even if you did ruin my whole life by doing so. Still, you did what you did for the right reasons. Don't blame yourself. You know, if you do. Let's keep exploring and see if there's anything to be found. 
All right, so we got a little influence with uh, Chandra. Never a bad thing. As long as it's not flirting, you won't piss off, piss off Nishka, which is uh, kind of the point. Don't piss off Nishka. I'm not sure there's a whole hell of a lot of shit to do here. This is where the sound is coming from. The wailing of the child is strong here. What is this place? Always been a scar on the ground. No grass ever grew over it. There is a familiar sensation about it. It's not the sound. The vibration is in the air around it, almost metallic. It is powerful, very powerful. This place is a sacred place. Know that when we know more, we should return. And that's really all there is to do here right now. Except to exit to the swamp. The Mirror of Dead Men. Gloves of concentration. Not giving up for AC for those motherfuckers. Make your path mine. You can wear them and concentrate. Very well. Help you cast spells in battle. Place is fucking creepy. It's like the bog of eternal stench. Everything must be afraid of me. Hence, we are not being attacked. That looks ominous. Yes. Very well. Guardian Ruins, guess that's where we're headed. An interesting 
entrance. It is not sealed. Was it broken into? It does not know to me. I do not think it possible that the seals could have been undone by the warlock, no matter what his strength of will. Shows how much you know, lizard tits. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. What is that? It is a thrall of the King of Shadows, a Shadow Reaver. And there, behind it, is the Statue of Purification. Was the Statue of Purification? This motherfucker broke. You have come far for nothing. The Statue's power is spent. Another has taken it, but it will not stop us. Another has undergone the ritual of purification? You speak lies. But it does not matter. The thief has not completed the rest of the ritual, the parts you bear. Once you are slain and the other statues cast down, none shall stand against us. Then as long as the other one who completed the ritual lives, we have a chance. All we have to do is defeat you. Ah, Gith. Zerai. You cannot stop me. Why the Illithids use your people as slaves is beyond me. It was a waste to you both. And why the King of Shadows would use you for a similar purpose is not known to me. But the fact that you cannot break his grip tells of your weakness. Weakness? My power is more than enough to defeat you. More than enough to bring these ruins down upon you. Even if you should wound me, I shall reform within the Vale of Merdelaine, as strong as before. I cannot be stopped. Oh, so you put this immortality test of yours to the test? Well, I can do my Intimidate too. Maybe the killing blow will be enough that your body won't have a chance to make it back to you. If you seek to shield yourself in your My words, nine intimidate did not then work. I shall show you how frail such armor is. Know that speaking words does not make them truth. Prove it, Thrall. Yes. You know that motherfucker. I'm gonna let the computer run. Well, actually, first of all, oh, fuck. Let me rest. Be bad. Shadow Reaver dead already? Yep. Keldar killed his ass right there. So much for you, big guy. I'm gonna fuck up your trees. It fucking rapage. is done. But know that we have only bought time, not achieved victory. We have only driven it off. It will return, as it said, and there will be more. There must be a way to remake the statue. Restore it now, you bitch! No, but we do not need to. No, we must find the one the Reaver spoke of. The one who completed the ritual. We will need their aid to defeat the King of Shadows. But that could be anyone. We don't even know who that is. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. Nothing? Know that we have completed four parts of the ritual. We have learned another holds the fifth. 
And most importantly, we know that our enemy fears our plans. I know. I just feel like we should do something. Know that this I road can give is you an something end. to do right the now. Town may have opened other roads to us. There is hope. You must believe it. Know that we have two weapons against the King of Shadows. The ritual in all its parts, and a fully forged sword of the Githyanki. That's we will need the sword no matter what transpires. Like Let us pursue that path, and perhaps the second path shall be revealed to us. How do we get this sword? Amin Jero knew much of the Githyanki Silver Swords. Finding his haven and recovering the knowledge of those swords is the only step we may take on this path now. We should return to Crossroad Keep, to the Lore Keeper who was imprisoned there with me, Aldenon. He knows much of Neverwinter, and he may know more than we of where to find some trace of Amanjero. That's not bad. It's probably worth hanging on to in case we fight like a blue dragon or some shit. Robe of the Shining Hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. No monks. Kelgar, sorry, you're not becoming a monk. Ithia's Neck Knife. Short sword spell casters facilitate research by bartering magic and though they practice does not usually span across planes, some resources just cannot be had locally. Such is the case of the Ichthia, a sorceress currently peddling finely crafted implements of death. Though never seen, the cost of her shadowy aid is well known. She barters and souls usually with people not aware of their work. The original owners of the neck knife are often dead on the inside of the cells. Empiric regeneration and plus two enhancement. Her shield, they see three fire resistance, plus one, and the shields crafted by the dwarves of the western hotlands are so-called because they make even the fiercest blast of heat seem comfortable. And Talibo is a cozy hat. Fire resistance. Kick-ass quarterstaffs. Doesn't help me with that. The spell resistance is gonna help enhance. I should take shield, the shield proficiency, or maybe even a fighter level. And then I can equip shields. Uh, and then there's a feat I can take, which will negate me having any kind of casting penalty. Seriously? in battle. What? Alright, time to leave this map. I think we can get rid of this priest as... She's actually been very helpful, and I thank her for her time.
don't know. I kinda like her. You can't really do a true play uh, evil playthrough in this game just because Follow me. I mean, I'm walking around with guys that are neutral good, yes. neutral good, neutral, Make your path lawful move. neutral. I'm the only evil motherfucker Very in the whole well. party. I'm also about to get that level. I don't know I think about it. I like Bishop because he's got some... He's just got some great lines. I'd actually like to trade out Chandra for him. I don't know when I get to get rid of her ass. Let's head back to Crossroad Keeps. Seek out this uh, Eldenon. I believe he's in the library. Take me to the courtyard, my friend. You want to see what enemies are nearby? I probably should have been reading these tooltips this whole time. Ignoring that shit. Smithy. Ruined church, merchant shop. Is it me or is there no fucking entrance into this fucking place? These doors would light up. I don't think the blacksmith is built, or, or maybe I have to find a blacksmith to uh, occupy it. Holy fuck, what happened? Merchant shop looks all like it's ready, loaded, and goaded. I don't have a fucking merchant. I gotta find people to sell. Oh, Foot Locker. I guess you have to find people in the world to uh, send here. I'll have to look into that. No fucking clue. We'll be wrapping up the video here in about 10 minutes. Really close to Act 3 now. Okay. I'm done, man. I can redo the surrounding areas, but... I don't know if that'll fuck up my uh, standing with the... Uh, with the Thieves Guild. Somebody tell me in the comments if I can rebuild those roads without pissing off the Thieves Guild. I need to know. There you are, Master Captain. Captain, you know, you. You've sent spies, spies to monitor what we're doing. Just give me the word and these guys are going to be in Kelamov's cab by nightfall. Hold on, give me more details. Right, details, some of the cloaks and I have an arrangement. I help them out, make sure they're on the right path to advancement. You know, when they return the favor, it turns out the last, at least four of the cloaks that are on the take. What are our options? Let me arrange some accidents. You're the boss, so you can make sure no one looks into it. That's what I want to do anyways. Let us watch the Watchers. Much can be learned. Ah, that's, that, that's thinking. There's the reason you're the boss. I'll have men I trust look into this and report back. There's Aldenon down there. Ah, welcome back. I remember you. Well, I think I do. You were the one with the shards, I hope. Yes, I am so pleased you let me visit. The last time I was here, I wasn't able to examine much to the keep or the library. Quite a shame. 
Actually, I'm looking for Amonjaro's records. Can you help me? Oh, that is unfortunate. I occasionally return to that side project when I have time, but to be honest, it's a difficult stone to crack. I mean, it's one thing to know about a place, and quite another to find it. The distinction is subtle, but there. What do you need to find it? Let's see. You have explored the Ilfarn ruins, undergone the ritual of purification, and traveled to Old Owl Well. Although I seem to recall something regarding getting several vials of dragon's blood, and of course, some lich dust. Then there's the three keys, bronze, silver, and red platinum. The red platinum one might need to be reforged. I think one of the pieces is an arm. Or was it the Underdark? Master Aldenon, here is the map with the position mark. Holy shit, it's a talking requested. door! This is the map of the Underdark. My question exactly. What is this nonsense? I didn't ask for any map. Can't you see we're having an important discussion here? Master Aldenon, you requested I chart a possible location for you, based on the information you provided. I had the Master Cartographer and several assistants cross-checking the records, and you were correct. This location cannot be scried, and it bears the telltale arcane marks you indicated would be there. So? Marks of what? Specifics, please, or I'll get the gardener to handle my errands from now on. Master Aldenon, you did not say what this place was, only what to look for. As you have said, it is one thing to find a place, and quite another thing to know about it at all. Is that Amonjaro's haven? It seems so. What a relief. Though I could have used some dragon blood and some lich dust, oh, and there's no way I'd go hunting for reagents like that. No thank you. But yes, I seem to recall asking for this. Well done, Aldenon, I say. Which I do. Good for me. Wouldn't you agree? Just show me where the haven is. Actually, tell me how you found it too, old man. Well, there were two things I felt would be essential in a haven. Secrecy and its ties to the court of Neverwinter. Secrecy means a place that cannot be scried. So I hired several diviners in my employ to scan a selected area based on shipments of reagents to a few obscure locations indicated in the court records. Quite simple, really. Sure looks buried deep within the mountains. Oh, well, I'm not certain it's there. But if I were to guess where one would place a labyrinth of death traps, well, mountains are always a good source of stone. Labyrinths need walls, you know, and stone walls seem to be favored. Great. Can we go now? My ancestor's death-filled labyrinth awaits, apparently. Master Aldenon, there was more to the map, and what the diviners found. Even with the wards, the concentration of infernal magics there. Oh, trust me, demons shouldn't pose any problems. Especially for a well-trained, armed, spirited group like that. Now, if you had told me that those men at Crossroad Keep had completed that terrible ritual of shadows, then I would be concerned. Kitchen, dining room, war room, to the basement, walls in the end, kind of this. Metallurgy, thaumaturgy, yes, you heard me. Building a golem, I hope, will serve thee. No, that rhyme doesn't quite work, does it? Maybe if I use alchemy? Either way, it won't work. That construct you're messing with, gnome, it's dangerous. Ah, this is in safe hands, Sir Bishop. Gnome hands, as it were, being my name. How reassuring. I'll be sure to remind myself who's to blame when it turns on us. Oh, there is little fear of that. I think. Any accomplished craftsman takes care to put safety wards so that they might command their own creation. That's as comforting as leaving the village idiot in charge of a trebuchet. Oh, come now. That's hardly a proper analogy. It's more like leaving the village idiot in charge of a huge savage, nearly unstoppable wolf, who can only understand simple commands like kill or stop killing or, oh no, put both halves of that man down this instant. But really... 
This blade golem is such a gentle, unassuming creature. He would never do something so horrible, would you? Construct? Would you? So what you're saying is if you're killed, we have no way of shutting this thing down. Oh, no, 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 no. The words of command aren't cued to my voice. Only the words matter. Much like one would utter when using a wand, staff, or other device. Anyone can use them. It's only a matter of knowing what they are. I imagine that's how the Construct was issued its orders from its awful masters. Hate to have that happen again, provided they don't already have the backup wards already in place. That's what I would do. You really think they might? It always pays to have a second who knows the commands, Gnome. Especially if there's any chance the creator could be killed or wiped out. Otherwise, you're leaving yourself vulnerable. Hmm. I hadn't considered that. But what if I was harmed, unconscious, or... My word. Even killed. Why, the consequences could prove disastrous. They could. But you could always take precautions, provided you knew someone you could trust. Yeah, I need to get to work on that construct. Try to go to this inn and sell some stuff. Since for some reason I can't get into the blacksmithy and there's no one working at the merchant shop. Not business, not a lot, but there are many people dropping by. Things could be better. Been talking with the master pod is willing to send an apprentice to perform here, but he wants the place to be livelier. Someone to dance to his music. Okay, yeah, so we gotta find people who can't even fucking sell here. Fantastic. So what does the great captain of Crossroad Keep want with his humble tracker? Something you want hunted down, my lord, or some forsaken path scouted? Why did Marcus want your knife? I have no idea. It's just an old skinning knife. At least I think so. It's not worth much that I can tell. But I guess beggars will take anything they can get their hands on for a few coppers. If you're lying to me, you're going to make me angry. Now there's a scary thought. As for the knife, it is easily concealable. If the kid needed to carry it to defend himself, or if he was attacked by a pelt golem, I guess he could skin it. And it's not magical? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but it's not likely. It's just... mine. Where did you get it? You know, I think we're done with this line of questioning. And I don't like the fact we had to give the kid that knife. Whining, you little bit. Keep is looking good. All right, folks, that about wraps it up. Yes. 
I'm gonna go ahead and let her keep her shit just in case. We need her to kill someone. Or we need to use her again. I kind of like her. I might actually use her again. Let's get Bishop back in the party. Very well. And now we can head to Amanjaro's Haven, which we will do in the next video. Thanks for watching.